Right now at five, an unprecedented inside look at the Milwaukee County Jail guided by the acting sheriff. This after an outside review of the jail found rooms for improvement. Katie Crowther joins us live with the details. Katie. Carol, the National Institute of Corrections spent three days here last month and found inmates waiting too long for medical screenings, staff shortages, and some outdated policies. But changes are in place. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new facility, and yes, we have changed it. Acting Sheriff Richard Schmidt indirectly criticized the past administration. Everything rises and falls with leadership. I put new leadership in place. Like new jail administrator Aaron Dobson, Schmidt himself was jail commander for 10 years starting in 2002. We didn't have the kind of issues that you've been seeing recently. In the past two years, there have been seven deaths in the Milwaukee County Jail. Two are still under investigation. Four were ruled no wrongdoing, but one led to criminal charges against three jail staffers. That is the most disturbing part of what's taken place in the past. As Schmidt led city and county leaders and local media on a tour of the jail, he pointed to some new additions, like three new wellness coordinators. They spend their entire day, every shift, going cell to cell, looking at the vulnerable population specifically. The health of inmates is the biggest challenge. Out of 900 inmates here today, at least 300 suffer from a mental health issue. Another 300 have a medical condition. Many of them have been living on the streets. Many of them with very serious drug and alcohol addictions. We toured the booking area, mental health unit, discipline pod, and much more. Schmidt calls his goal transparent transformation. I want people to know that when their loved ones and friends are in the Milwaukee County Jail, they're being treated properly. And in response to the outside review, all jail policies still need to be updated, and there still needs to be a full analysis of jail staff. Currently, the jail is understaffed, uh, and that leads to some overtime issues. Reporting live downtown, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. No doubt a lot of people appreciate this transparency. Katie, thank you very much.